Today we're going to look at two often confused time signatures and decide whether or not they can be considered the same. 3, 4, and 6, 8 both have 6 beats in them, so they're the same, right? Or are they? We'll examine this mathematical conundrum and also decide where the 6-4 time signature fits into all of this. Coming up! I've been in all too many playing situations where there is an obvious breakdown in communication between musicians as to how we're counting the song we're playing. Now this never seems to happen if the song is in 4. Everyone can count to 4, no problem, no confusion, but when we're counting to 3 or 6, things suddenly get more complicated and it seems that each person in the group is interpreting the meter differently. Let's see if we can get to the core of this confusion. If we write these two time signatures next to each other here, they both look like fractions. However, if we treat them as fractions, that means that mathematically we can reduce 6, 8 to 3, 4, making them the same. This is a mistake though, because time signatures are not fractions. They're not even supposed to be written to look like a fraction. No horizontal line needed there. If we get past this first misunderstanding though, we're well on our way to understanding 6, 8 better. As you probably already understand, the top number here is the number of beats in the measure. Obviously that means that if we're playing in 6-8, we're counting to 6. But wait, why is it then that sometimes we count to 6 when we're playing in 3? Is this wrong? No, not necessarily. 6-8 is made up of 6 eighth notes, and so is 3-4. If we are counting eighth notes in each scenario, then in theory, we are counting both of these the same. Well, here's where the difference comes in. The eighth notes are grouped differently in each time signature. In 6-8, we have two groups of three eighths, while in 3-4, we have three pairs of eighths. Now, this is where the bottom number in the time signature comes into play. That bottom number tells us which note gets the beat. In other words, which note we should count. The four in the 3-4 time signature tells us that we should be counting the quarter note, while the 8 in the 6-8 time signature tells us we should be counting the 8th note. If we're in 3-4, we should count 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3 and... If we're in 6-8, we should count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because of the 8th note grouping in 6-8, we can actually count a slow 2 instead of a quick 6. We can instead say one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and uh. So what do these differences mean in terms of how we feel and play these time signatures? Here are some examples of how I might play a groove in each of these, starting with six, eight. So I'm gonna play these grooves in a pretty simple and straightforward way. They're both gonna be the sort of the same instrumentation on the drum set, where I'll be keeping time with the hi-hat and then it's just gonna be a really basic kick and snare pattern just to help show the differences in how you might play a similar groove in each of these time signatures. And here's a groove in 3-4. Here's an alternate approach to 3-4.
Lastly, here are some songs in each of these time signatures. These are examples that you can count along to and play along to, and hopefully they will help in developing your natural feel for each time signature. So, what about 6-4? Where does 6-4 fit into all of this? Well, as we learned earlier by definition, 6-4 means that we are counting 6 quarter notes in a measure instead of 6 eighth notes like in 6-8. However, in this case, how we feel this signature and how we groove to it is kind of up to interpretation by the composer of the piece. For instance, a composer might decide that his 3-4 piece should actually be in 6-4, so he'll just erase every other bar line and make the measures longer. Alternately, he could decide that his 6-8 piece should be counted in quarter notes because it's super slow, now giving the quarter note the beat but not changing the groove at all. Or, a common case of 6-4 is actually where a 4-4 measure just has an extra two beats added on. A 6-4 groove could be a 4-4 groove with snare on two and four that just extends two more beats. I really hope this video helped clear up your questions about these sometimes confusing time signatures that show up commonly in a lot of music that we play. There's really nothing confusing going on if we take the time to understand them. If this did help you out, give it a thumbs up and share with a friend. I welcome any comments or questions, so please leave a comment and let me know you dropped by. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out these other videos and click the headshot to subscribe. New drumming tips, techniques, ideas, and product reviews every week.